This is how you beat Arena 7 in... No, 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 Good luck to everyone in Arena 7. You'll need it. Namsak is here. I know what you guys are thinking. Cash, it's the same deck as Arena 6. Yes, it is. But I actually have two more decks that I've been working on. There's two new decks that I want to showcase today that I think are going to work really, really well in Arena 7. Oh my gosh, is this guy using our deck? Maybe he's watched the Arena 6 video. It's been a while since we made the last one. What are we doing here? Hmm, let's just drop this big Pekka dude down, and then we're gonna log to take rid of all the skeletons, and then hopefully the Pekka can kill the witch before it spawns more skeletons. There's one little Larry on our tower, just, and it almost took our tower. What the heck just happened? Uh, does he have skeleton army? No, he goes Valkyrie. Oh, but does he have anything for the Goblin Barrel? Wow, look at this. The Pekka is getting a lot of damage right now, a lot of value. Is able to take out the Valkyrie, is gonna be able to take out maybe the Knight as well, but the entire time was tanking for the Goblin Barrel. One thing I never mentioned was the using cards that are using some of the cards that you have high level just because we got kind of fortunate with some of the cards that we got we got cards in our chest and our level up chests that work in this deck so we have a high level mega minion we have a high level bomber we have a high level tombstone we have a high level do we have a high level mega minion i don't think we have it's not that high is if you have a card that is very high level let's say you have the dark prince and it's really high why would you know the dark prince you unlock in this arena you probably don't have the dark prince well i'm trying to think of a good example give me some time i want to talk just so okay no let's just win real quick see does he have anything Anything for the goblins? Goblins? Okay, that was so aggressive. There's still 45 seconds left. What are we doing? If you have the wizard, let's say your wizard is level nine. That's really high level. Levels are important. We already talked about that. All you got to do is use the wizard instead of the witch. Any card that's kind of similar in nature to the... Oh, this is looking kind of sketchy. Are we in danger? Are we in danger? Any card that's high level, try to incorporate it in the deck. If your baby dragon's really high level, try to use it for the mega minion instead. It, levels are really important in Clash Royale. If you have these cards high level, use this deck because this deck is the best deck in Clash Royale history. I want to get the three crown just so we can get it for our past Royale. Come on, give it to us now. Come on. Namsak is now angry. Who would have thunk it? The best deck of Arena 6 works in Arena 7. Awesome. The first decision we have to make on trophy road do you pick the royal recruits or do you pick the royal giant and i it's weird because one of my favorite cards is the royal recruits but i think we're gonna pick the royal giant because i could i could i already have a, a deck brewing in my head of potential royal royal giant decks we're taking royal giant you, you should take royal giant as well look at that it's a new deck namsack has made a new evil toxic deck and this one is this guy level 10 it's four levels higher than us he's almost maxed we saw in Arena 6 that our the P.E.K.K.A. Goblin Barrel deck that we just played, it was really, really, really good on defense. But it kind of lacked a little bit on the offensive side at times. There were some times where we couldn't really break through if your, our opponent had the answers that he, he needed. If he had the answers to the, the Goblin Barrel and our P.E.K.K.A. couldn't get on tower, it was really hard to deal damage. That's why in this deck, not only do we have the Goblin Barrel, but we have the Wall Breakers. We just saw them get on tower. They get on tower. They go boom. They're two Elixir. And for two Elixir, I don't know how much they do at this level, but when they're max, they can deal a ridiculous amount of damage. This has to be a bot, right? It doesn't matter. Even bots lose to Namsack. He, he, he. Ha! Tip number one for this video is going to be the newbie challenges. There's going to be challenges. I, it happens every week, maybe some, every two weeks, there'll be a couple of challenges. But whenever there's a new challenge, like right now, the Royal Tournament's happening. There'll also be a challenge for newbies. Only new players can see newer players, lower level ladder players can see this challenge. This one right now is the sudden death challenge. And I was playing against in it. You get a lot of rewards. You get the practice as well. And this is a really, really, really good way for newer players to get resources and there's really no risk whatsoever your trophies are safe if you lose it doesn't matter do these they, they, these are these are important make sure you do these ma'am sack says so here let's go with the prince on the right side to deal with this musketeer we know he doesn't have a skeleton army in cycle so maybe we can just go with log here valkyrie on the left side for the witch which is really good but the prince got on tower that's huge and then here, let's go with the giant skeleton. We just took the tower. Okay, I was not expecting that. 
Let's go with the log on defense against the Goblin Barrel. And hopefully this pack of... No! We might lose a tower here. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, we're definitely going to lose. Lose, 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 lose. Giant Skeleton on tower. And this is why the Giant Skeleton is so good. Is because it can get on tower. It can deal a lot of damage. Not only that, but when this bomb goes off, it goes boom. Is it going to be able to take tower? It does deal a lot. Of okay, it does deal more than 437 damage. Wait, does he have Valkyrie? we got to watch out for Valkyrie. Oh, he's going Valkyrie on the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is it a base race? Ladies and gentlemen, we got a base race. We got a base race. It's a base race. I'm going to go defensive wall breakers because I'm terrified right now. Oh my gosh. There's a mini pack on our tower. Uh-oh. 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 Did we win? It's a... Oh, bah, bah. Easiest game of our lives. That's what you call a base race. If you're dumb and you play too many cards and you don't have enough... You don't have enough elixir to defend, the best option is sometimes attack, and that's exactly what we did. We attacked, we defended a little bit just to try to slow down the attack of our opponents, but then at the end of the day, we won. Namsack got his crowns and won. He 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 ha. For tip number two, we, we have party mode. Party mode is so important for new players just because it's a place where you can try out any decks in an environment that is totally risk-free. You don't have to worry about losing trophies or going down in trophy road, going down in arenas. And you could also play with your friends. You can play 1v1, you can play 2v2 with your friends. And if you do so and you win a game, you get chests, which you can unlock and get more cards, more gold, and then beating your opponent. If you get one crown, two crown, or three crowns, you'll get crowns to go towards your pass rail, which will unlock more chests, which will get you more gold and more cards so that you can help max out your deck. Because already we're seeing that we're going up against very high level opponents. Card levels, very important, but also... It's a lot of fun. Party mode, very, very, very important. Make sure you try it out. Deck number three. It's a deck that already used to exist. This deck used to be really broken, and it was Pekka Double Prince. But the problem is, this deck was... No! Oh! No! What happened to our witch? No, 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 no! Oh, that counter push would have been lethal. What just happened? How did we already lose? How does he have a level eight witch? So many questions. We might lose this tower. What just happened? Yo, this deck sucks. <laughs> Let's see if we can come back using this deck. I played this deck a couple of times. And if you're able to build the P.E.K.K.A. in the front, this, this attack of the P.E.K.K.A. in the front, and then support it with the Prince and the Dark Prince, it's, it's really hard to stop especially for newer players they, they kind of just get overwhelmed so right now let's let's try it let's go with the prince we have the witch down um here we might just go should we go with maybe arrows to take out the skeletons just so we can get on top of this witch no it looks like the prince is gonna go on this witch prince is still alive prince is gonna get on tower and it looks like that's gonna be a decent amount of damage but we did not take the tower sadly Goblins are level 10? What level are our goblins? Level 8. Okay, that's still 8, 10. That's insane that he has level 10. Royal Recruits. This is a card we haven't seen yet. So Royal Recruits, it's a 7 elixir card. It spawns 6 units across the entire arena. And usually you'd split them where 3 goes down one side, 3 goes down the other side. He split it a little differently. He went 2 down one side, 4 down the other. They do have shields. And they do have a relatively okay amount of HP. So they're really good on defense in this situation against units like the P.E.K.K.A. and the Dark Prince that deal a lot of damage to one single unit. But they're really bad at dealing with, with Splash. So Dark Prince is a good example of cards that are really good at dealing with the Royal Recruits. So is the Valkyrie. So is the Wizard. So is the Baby Dragon. So is the Witch. I wouldn't use Royal Recruits exactly for that reason. You see all the counters to the Royal Recruits in Arena 7. Part of the reason why we didn't pick them on Trophy Road. Ooh, okay. Drum roll, please. Um, now we're on Trophy Road. Next option we have to do is pick between the Three Musketeers and we have to pick between the Royal Hogs. Wow, this is a decision. This is actually a tip. I don't think I've ever brought this up, but tip tip is called win condition. What is a win condition? A win condition is a card that's primary purpose is to deal damage to your opponent's tower. For example, a giant, its primary purpose is to walk onto its tower and punch it in the face. Goblin barrel as well, throwing the goblin barrel on your opponent's tower, dealing damage that way. Royal hogs, you basically play them and it's four little piggies. They have a relatively decent amount of HP and they can deal a lot of damage, but they're vulnerable to any unit that deals splash damage. So again, witch, Valkyrie, wizards, baby dragons, fireballs are really good. Three musketeers 
is the exact same thing as a musketeer but there's three of them who would have thunk it and it's nine elixir for three musketeers it's a lot of elixir they're really good in certain situations but i don't think they're going to be good early on in clash royale i don't think it's going to be good in arena seven and i don't think it's going to be good in the next couple of arenas i'm going to go with royal hogs just because i could see a world where we could use these little piggies also i'm a little biased and this might be my favorite card in clash royale i'm trying to look at some weaknesses and right now i think one weakness with this deck could be against balloon oh it's the balloon that's the card that we said if we went up against we're probably going to lose because we only have two counters we oh this is awful we have a witch and we have bats and that's not going to be great when we're going up against the balloon deck. Um, we can do a couple of things here. I'm going to go with the Goblin Barrel just because I think it's going to force out more Elixir. Or maybe even just take this tower. He does go with arrows. And that, I think, is good. Just because if he does now go in with another balloon, which I'm terrified of, our bats should be able to get a lot of value against the balloon. The bats do a lot of DPS, but they're very vulnerable to the Baby Dragon. So as long as we can get something in front of the Baby Dragon, we, sh we should be okay. Uh-oh, we're in danger. Does he have Baby Dragon? This is it. This is the question. Because the bats should be more than enough. More than enough. Skeleton Army on the left side for the Goblin Barrel. And that should be a very clean defense. Not even getting the Death Bomb from the Balloon. And here, let's go with the Dark Prince to help out. Just because if he does play Skeleton Army, Dark Prince should be able to deal with most of these skeletons relatively quickly. Um, the, the pack is still not over. Take your time, Pekka. No rush. No rush whatsoever. These tombstones are so annoying. I can't get through all the... There's just infinite amounts of skeletons. Oh, goblins on tower, though. There it is. And just like that, we won. I'm very, very scared of this balloon still. As long as... Oh, does he have arrows? I can't remember. No, he used arrows already. Oh, and he used them in a perfect time. Yeah, that tower's going down, right? One shot, two shots. No, only... Okay, that's good. That's very, very good. That is very, very good. We're going to go with Goblin Barrel. We know he probably has Skeleton Army coming down anytime. Anytime. There it is. Skeleton Army coming in. We get the Tombstone. We get the Skeleton Army. We get his tower. And we get everything else. Oh, why am I celebrating? We haven't even won the game yet. Oh, what are we doing? No, we've won the game because we're the best there ever was. Don't you ever forget it. Okay, so even against the matchup that we were scared of, the balloon, the scary loon. Oh, please, am I talking too early? Is he going to arrow and we're going to lose? Nope. Arrow comes in late. G, G, well played. Namsag still and still undefeated. I like it. I like it. Picasso. Okay, this P.E.K.K.A. is going to go nowhere quick. And right now, let's just reset. Oh my gosh, we're not even going to have a chance to reset. He did what we usually do to people, to us. Um, okay. Do arrows take everything out here? I do not know for certain. Oh my gosh, this is insane. I can't stop everything. This deck's- this, it's the deck's fault, it's not our fault. You guys you were the best there ever was. Um, wow, we're in a lot of danger. That was a lot of damage, and that was so easy. Now here, I'm gonna try with the Dark Prince behind, and maybe the Dark Prince splash damage dealing with all the skeletons. Maybe then we'll be able to get breakthrough and get on top of this witch. If not, we're in danger. Oh, we might be in danger anyways. Oh, gosh. Um, let's go with the arrows right away. How is everything still alive? Uh, I'm gonna, I wanna go with P.E.K.K.A. at the bridge, but I don't even know if we're gonna have enough time. Uh, we're gonna go with P.E.K.K.A. right on top of this witch, take it out before it spawns its skeletons. And then here, I I'm gonna go with the goblin barrel, but I'm gonna wait till we have enough elixir to support it also with the arrows, because maybe, just maybe, we can take out this witch somehow. I'm gonna go with arrows. Coming in. Gets the princess as well. And we got a little bit of damage. But that's it. I guess that's good. That's what Clash Royale's about. What am I complaining about? We did the thing that we wanted to do. We're gonna go with Pekka on defense just to make sure this mini Pekka does not get on our tower. We are going to go with a prince as well just to make sure we take everything out. We're gonna go with the naked goblin barrel. And then hopefully we can win just with this goblin barrel. Maybe? 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 Oh, it is enough! Naked Goblin Barrel for the win! That was such a stressful game. But the best thing that we did there, even though we were far behind, is just patience. It was patience. Getting little bits of damage. You didn't have to, we didn't have to build that one big push and overwhelm our opponent and take a tower like that. Little bits of damage and win. You have five minutes to win a game. You got time. Be patient. We use the witch in like every deck. We might as well get it juicy. Upgrade the witch. Upgrade. We saw how good the level eight witch was. So if you can't beat them, join them. We beat them and we're going to join them. We're going to do both. And, ooh, is that a level up? Card masteries unlocked. Okay. Okay. Card masteries. This is brand new. I don't know if this is technically a tip. Masteries, we can call it a tip. 
but masteries is ch little challenges that you can you have to complete maybe he'll just tell us what it is complete a card's first mastery task to un unlock its card mastery and find new mastery tasks and rewards to unlock that's basically it you complete these challenges you get rewards and the more challenges that you complete the more challenges you'll unlock and you'll get bigger and the challenges will be harder but you'll also get bigger rewards these are really broken they have a lot of rewards i I'm, this is this is going to be a game changer is, is this why we're going up against level 10s and because we leveled up that means level up chest what 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 we got uh 1040 gold not bad 10 gems i'll take it uh 23 minions okay uh infernal tower we don't use it but maybe now that we got it maybe there's a deck that we can think of a cannon what's this sucks you couldn't have got anything else goblin barrel baby <laughs> yo that's a sign goblin barrel it's the way we're going back we gotta upgrade this dude is he a bot <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm nervous. <laughs> what's his plan? What's in the box? He's got this the lowest average elixir cost I've ever seen ever. It's it's probably a, an average elixir cost of one. That is incredible. Uh, does he have skeleton army? Does he have something? Anything? Why was this arena easier than arena six? Why was this arena so dang easy? I'm going to try to see if we can win here real quick. I don't remember how he's been able to defend. What, I don't think he's going to be able to keep defending the way he is. Oh, he's he's kiting my P.E.K.K.A. Um, interesting. I guess that's this is a time... To, 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 I, I don't know if we've ever talked about kiting Clash Royale. Uh, it's, it's using a card that's focus is on only buildings in the middle of the arena to pull units to the other side of the arena. It, it, it was interesting. It looked cool. But it's not going to do anything. Pack on tower, Goblin Barrel on tower, Zap comes in, Mega Minion on tower, Witch on tower. GG! Well played! Why was Arena 7 so bad compared to Arena 6? Why was Arena 6 harder? Next stop, Frozen Peak. Namsack out! Do, 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 do. Hold up, I know what you're thinking. But Cash, what do I do with my legendary cards? If you got the Ice Wizard, the Princess, the E-Wiz, the Magic Archer, or the Mother Witch, swap them in for the Witch. If you got the Mega Knight, swap them in for the Giant Skeleton or the P.E.K.K.A. Bandit, Royal Ghost, Fisherman, Lumberjack, Night Witch, Sparky, swap them in for the Bomber, the Prince, or the Dark Prince. Graveyard, Miner, Ram Rider, swap them in for the Goblin Barrel. Inferno Dragon can be swapped in for the Bats or the Mega Minion. Law the Hound, you're I, don't, I wouldn't use it in any of these decks. Yeah. I wish you the best of luck in Arena 7. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out this video over here. It's our newest video. I'll see you in that video. Subscribe. Deuces. <laughs>